you know, there's so much we can talk about, but let's start with the fact that when we walked into the room, we were both wearing masks. Something happened starting in uh, maybe December, maybe earlier, out of China that has impacted the American economy like nothing else. I think it's the greatest economic weapon unleashed in the history of the world. Tell us about what's happened. And you certainly would be right. Um, we've got to, you know, a lot of people say, oh, you know, we should cooperate with China on finding a vaccine and what to do about this disease. And that sounds good to the ear, but the problem is that China deliberately took steps that led to the release of this disease around the world. So for instance, you go back to Wuhan. Uh, doctors in Wuhan, no later than the second week of December, knew that this disease was human to human transmissible. Now China didn't say anything publicly until January 20. Now, if Beijing had said nothing about human to human transmissibility in that five weeks, that would have been grossly irresponsible. But worse, what they tried to do was to convince the world that it was not H to H, human to human. At the same time, Xi Jinping, the Chinese ruler, he pressured countries not to impose travel restrictions and quarantines on arrivals from China. You put those two things together and you come to the conclusion that this was going to lead to the disease which should have been just contained to the central part of China around Wuhan to make it go to the four corners of the globe. So that shows you that Xi Jinping, whatever was going in his mind, I think that he looked around China, saw how it crippled his country, and he decided he was going to get even. Because if that's in fact what he did, he would have done the same thing that he in fact did do. So we've got to be concerned that this was a malicious assault on our country and countries around the world. Now you mentioned that uh, he argued and lobbied to not restrict people from leaving uh, China so that they'd go around the world. But weren't there travel restrictions going into Beijing? Yeah, in China itself, from January 23, um, the, the Wuhan and surrounding cities were locked down. That was, eventually came to be about 75 million people. At the same time, after January 23, we know that Xi Jinping spent a lot of effort on lobbying other countries. So for instance, when President Trump declared the travel quarantines and restrictions on just January 31, he took an enormous heat from Beijing, as well as from domestic critics who called him xenophobic. That line, by the way, comes from someone who's known as Vice President Biden. But the point is, um, China had to know what it was doing. So this is the first time in history, Kevin, that one country has attacked all the others in the world. And we have seen now, what, 143,000 Americans have died so far, and there's trillions and trillions of dollars of economic damage. Well, they not only uh, encouraged travel, and although they restricted it domestically inside China, but they also scooped up all of the personal protection equipment. I was on the phone actually with Steve Bannon and with one of the largest suppliers of PPE in the United States. We got on and Rose, uh, Rosemary Gibson, who's written China RX, yeah. and we were talking about how uh, American suppliers of PPE found that their container ships were confiscated by the Chinese and then sold off into China or provided into China. So they, they knew something was going on. This was back in January, I believe, maybe early February. They knew something was going on and they were making the situation worse for the rest of the world and better for themselves. Yeah, Maria Bartiromo, the Fox business anchor, talked about this on air, how she said that they turned around ships which had PPE that were bound for New York hospitals. Peter Navarro, who I take it was on with Steve just a little while ago, he mentioned that one American factory making these N95 masks that was actually nationalized by Beijing. There have been so many stories as you talk to people around this country about how their hospitals had all this equipment stopped in shipment. So yes, this was, uh, this was you know, China says, oh, we need to cooperate. Well, no, they were extremely selfish. 